so we are gonna go and forage for some feijoas right now to put on our porridge because we're allowed to leave the house for like to go for walks and stuff but we're not Riley stop darling stop stop we're not meant to go um in our cars and really go anywhere so that's fun with two kids Hi. oh you just had your birthday darling yeah, my birthday you've had you your birthday is a while away mm -hmm. it's really mommy's birthday <laughs> It's such a cool opportunity to be able to go and get free fruit and most of the time if you ask someone or if you look and the fruit trees are on public land there's absolutely no problem with doing it whatsoever. Most of the time like people are really happy to be able to share their fruit around especially if it's going to go to waste so don't be afraid to go and forage and your kids will probably love it. So we got heaps, well I'm right in the light, got heaps of feijoas, you can see them all there. I'm gonna have them on our porridge and just from getting stuff off the ground. Moggy, how do you feel about getting some Fiji? Are you happy? Yeah. What are you gonna do? You love them, eh? Yeah. <laughs> we got this big, massive bowl of Fiji. Me. You're eating your porridge? Yeah. Well done. You got blueberries? Is it yummy? Yum yum. This whole bunch of videos is going to be real yummy. Mm hmm Good. some Fiji to it. Here's my breakfast. It's probably about half a cup to two thirds of a cup of raw oats and then about a tablespoon of flax and lots of Fijos and I'm also drinking cold coffee and no doubt my porridge is cold as well. Now and I'm being very ambitious I've got this big plate of lettuce and mescaline so I'm gonna I'm gonna put some stuff on that and I'll show you what I've got to put on that. I've got some pumpkin and I've got some olives and I cut up some cucumber and spring onion and tomato and so I'm putting in some buttercup pumpkin here which I think you call kab kabuka squash in the states and then I've got some a little bit of avocado some cucumber and tomato with some spring onion lemon is amazing you don't really need a much of a dressing when you can put in some lemon juice so I really like doing that uh, and I'm also going to add a little bit of salt and pepper and I had this like pickled cabbage stuff left over from work that we had to take home after like my work closing for the quarantine so I've got some of the juice of that in there plus these pea feathers which are really yum and some a little bit of salt and I'm gonna put in some olives as well which is also gonna give it flavor and I just honestly don't even really use a dressing because I've got all these flavor components and I try and just get a little bit in every bite and it tastes really delicious and you don't even need a salad dressing so that's what I do just chop them up fine and I don't always put olives in but I just felt like doing it today really you can just put whatever you want in a component meal and it's gonna work out fine this is a massive plate of food I didn't really need a dressing like this is something I ask people ask me a lot like what do you use for dressings and a lot of the time I just can't be bothered and I just don't need a dressing I put some salt and pepper I put some lemon I put some other stuff as you can see and it's gonna taste fantastic 
And so I was going to show you how I cook without oil. So you basically just heat up a non-stick pan or wok and then you just put whatever you want to fry in there. I'm going to start with onion. And I just have like a little jug handy. You can have a look here. And that's got some water in it. Like, look at our hoary jug. <laughs> Can't get a new one for a while. Can't get a new one because we've got at least a month of lockdown. So, is what it is. So you can kind of have a look over here. So I just fry things like this. And then if they start to stick, just add like a little bit. Just like a tiny bit of water. And you can just keep doing this. And that's how you cook without oil. It's actually really, really easy. And you're saving yourself like hundreds of calories. Because you think if, you, if I was to cook this with two tablespoons of oil, that's about 260 extra calories that I'm adding to my meal and I don't, wouldn't even notice. Like no one's going to be like, oh, you didn't use oil. No one is going to notice. You're not going to even notice. Easy. And so I'm making some, um, I'm going to make some gravy. So I'm going to cook up this onion. When it cooks a bit more, I'll add in this garlic that I chopped up. And ooh, I've got my potatoes and crumera sweet potato in here. That's going to get mashed up. When that's cooked a bit more, I'm going to add some of this cauliflower in there because the cauliflower is going to, it's very, very low in calories, it's a non-starchy vegetable, so it's going to help to dilute the overall calories of the mashed potato, but no one's going to notice as well. So this is like these little kind of tips and tricks and hacks that I have to lower the calories of the food I'm eating, but still eat a high volume of food. Okay, so I'm going to try and make a bit of a gravy, and these are my thingies. So, I'll just... You can just follow along with what I do. I'll just show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to put some, about a cup. I don't normally measure things. I'm normally the kind of person that just chucks whatever. So this is new to me. I'm going to just try it and see how it goes. So then I'll put about a tablespoon of mustard. Okay, so I just blended that and now I'm covered and it's made this kind of like thick white kind of gravy. So I'm just going to add this here to this chickpea and mushroom mix. And that's going to be gravy for the mashed potato. So it looks pretty good, I feel like. Could have drained out some of the water probably would have been a good idea but it's like this creamy kind of mushroom and onion gravy it'd be really good with some fresh parsley I'll try and find some fresh parsley okay so something people always ask me is like serving sizes and it's kind of a tricky one because I mean I'm an individual you're an individual <laughs> sounds so cliche <laughs> anyway but I'm going to show you like around about what I eat, all right? And my kind of strategy so that I'm eating lower calorie but filling That's meals. Right. So something like this, like I already know, like I've already diluted it further than just normal potatoes. 
okay and I haven't it obviously doesn't have any butter or anything like that so it's already like fairly low calorie and it's gonna be really really filling but I mean I'll probably start with like maybe like that much food and then the thing is I'm just gonna be like filling up on broccoli because this is something that is really low in calories but it's gonna help fill me up so at least half of my plate probably like that much food and then I'm gonna get some of this mushroom gravy that I made and remember like this is mainly non-starchy vegetables Mom? as well like this is made with mushrooms Mom? it's got a little bit of chickpeas Mom, in there yeah, because I'm bigger. Yes, and you were the one who made it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, darling. So that's that's the thing, eh? You can have more if you're the one that made it. But, so this is, yeah, it's already got onions, it's got tons of mushrooms, So and then it's blended with basically this. It's not, it's not like real creamy. It's not made with cashews, so it's already something that is relatively low in calories. So I'm just going to get, Mom, like, quite a lot... Get tons of mushroom in there. And some gravy over that. Mm. Yeah. And I mean, that's probably the kind of amount of food that I'm going to start with. Mom. But just bear in mind, like, I'm using calorie density. I'm eating a lot of non starchy vegetables in this really filling plate of food. And that's how I've lost weight. That's kind of the secret to it. It's, it's just being able to do this. So, yeah. I'm gonna go enjoy this. So I've got my chai tea, which has a little bit of soy milk in it. And I'm also going to eat my muffin. And I'm gonna sit on the couch and read a book. And then that's everything that I ate today, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this.